Hello everyone, it's Jim again with another turning project. This time I'm doing a set of pens and pencils, and this is because I had a friend of mine order a set with a case while I was doing my last project, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to make these anyway, I might as well try and make a video. Well, the pen blanks are about five inches long and about five eighths to three quarters of an inch square. And this gives me plenty of room to play with if I mess up anywhere. And for this pattern, I'm, I'm doing a diagonal split so that there's a kind of an interesting pattern on the pen when it's finished. I just finished making the sanding disc before this project and I really need to make a table with a surface perpendicular to the disc so I can keep things squared up. Uh, that was one thing I almost messed up with here. For those of you that might want to try this yourself, I've included chapters in the description that will take you to various parts of the process. These are the major parts. There are some little tips and tricks and details that I'm not including here, otherwise the video would be super long and even more boring. <laughs> so um, take this as a guideline and th there are other ways to do these things and some great pen turners out there, but this is the way I do it. So this step, I'm cutting the blanks in half so I can find the middle. And then when I do that, I flip it around and trim the front and the back end um, to make sure that it's not too long and the tubes that I glue in later, I don't have to machine away too much material. I'm drilling out the blanks here to accept the brass tubes that go inside the wood. And notice I'm starting at the middle of the pen, so the middle part goes up, so the drill bit enters there first. And this makes sure that the grain patterns line up as good as possible in case the drill bit wanders a little bit as it gets down towards the bottom. The middle part will be good and the ends can move around a bit, it's not that critical. Here I'm roughing up the brass tubes that get glued in, and this uh, little bit of roughness gives the glue something to grab onto so they don't slide out during turning. Some tubes come pre-roughened, but these didn't, so I had to do that with a little bit of sandpaper. Once everything's ready to go, I use an extra thick CA glue to glue the tubes in and I find that fills any small irregularities in the drill hole and on the brass tube and makes a really good bond. So you can see I'm using the middle of the pen to push the tubes into and that makes sure I can get that part of the tube basically flush with where the middle of the pen is going to be so that that grain is going to match up once everything's trimmed properly. This next step is crucial to getting a really nice fitting pen in the end. You have to take the two blanks and where they will meet in the middle, use this tool to uh, machine off the ends so that they're perfectly perpendicular to the tubes and very flat. So when they come together, everything will mate really, really flat with all of the metal parts and with each other. Very important. Once the blanks are all prepped, you got to assemble everything on the mandrel, which you see here, and that's what gets put on the lathe to do the turning. 
So you see there's some spacers, they're called bushings, and those are exactly the thickness of the metal parts that make up the rest of the pen. So as I slip everything on there, I put a spacer or a bushing in between each of the wood pieces, and then I'll turn down to that, and that makes sure that all the metal and wood pieces uh, match up flush. As you can see there, there's a little void in the glue joint between the mahogany and the ebony. And that was because I didn't get my blanks perfectly perpendicular to the sanding disc and I got a little bit of a round over. So that's where that came from. But it was only on the outside and you'll see it'll just turn away and won't be present in the final pen. I use this old ergonomic pencil I bought years ago for the spacing between the little nubs that make it comfortable to grip. I usually just kind of eyeball the size after that, but I try and get the position the same because that will make it feel good in your hand. I do about half of the sanding with the lathe running and uh, get everything smooth and even and then I turn it off and I run the sandpaper along the pen blank uh, in parallel to the grain to help remove some of those circular scratches in between grits and I go from 120 all the way up to 400 grit. So the final step is a friction polish. You know, I do several coats of that and it brings it up to a really nice sheen and feels really good. Not a fan of the CA finishes. Um, kind of toxic to work with. You need a lot of ventilation and uh, it's kind of a pain. So, uh, and it's slow. So this is my process. Uh, I know a lot of people like the CA finishes, but it's not my thing. In the final assembly, I use this nice pen press that I got from Penn State Industries and see there's various steps and the most important one is pressing the pen twist mechanism in there's a little line there that you're supposed to push up to but it's kind of wide and you have to do a, uh, a press and then a check and then a press and the check because if you've done some things with trimming and the tubes are different lengths possibly the pen may not fully retract once it's all assembled and then it's a real pain to take it apart and redo it. I discovered when I was putting this first pen together that the movable stop was loose and it caused me to mess up one of the steps and I had to redo it. So that was something I learned a while back because the same thing happened I got to make sure I check that before I do it otherwise it can just ruin the entire project
I also made a matching pencil and a case for this project, but you can see those at the very end. I'm not going to show the pencil assembly. Also, I have two other instruments I made at the same time in another case. I'll be putting those on my website, so if you're interested, go check it out at the link at the end. Thank you.